In an effort to help current and former foster students with pursuing higher education or employment, Texas Workforce Commission has awarded four programs across the state with funding. CBS 4's Jelani Martinez introduced us to one school district that's taken advantage of the new grant. With 80 foster students enrolled, the FAR San Juan Alamo Independent School District was one of four local districts to receive funding from TWS, which is short for Texas Workforce Solutions. TWS awarded $1.5 million in funding for the Foster Youth Dropout Recovery and High School Completion Pilot Program, which focuses on helping current and former foster students ages 16 to 25 earn a high school diploma or obtain high demand workforce skills. We help get them back on track and give them some experience in the work field so that they can not only graduate with uh, a degree, but also graduate with some experience. DSJA received over $290,000, which will go toward more than just helping foster students excel in academics. They sometimes experience a lot of different situations within their, within their placements and then don't really have the opportunity to graduate, this is the opportunity to offer them the credit recovery, high school diplomas or certification or associate's degrees. The district works with local community colleges, Workforce Solutions and the BCFSHHS McAllen Transition Center to offer foster care students a variety of resources to make them potential candidates for future jobs and obtain a higher education. And they'll provide everything from interviewing techniques, um, resume writing, uh, the job skills, the internships, the partnerships, uh, application, um, FAFSA readiness, all of those, uh, those steps necessary to enroll in college also. One of the main goals of this program is to also keep foster students from dropping out. PSJ is very excited and is, uh, is looking to forward towards you know this two years and to ensure that we implement it and structure it appropriately so that we won't leave uh, any student any foster care student behind in Hidalgo County with complete valley coverage Jolani Martinez CBS 4 Valley at 6. Those who are eligible for the program must be current or former foster care students between the ages of 16 and 25.